thanks for checking out the business card creator. I made this short video to get you up and running quickly, so I'll show you how this works. First, you're going to select the business card template set on the left, and you'll be presented with all of these business card templates. So go ahead and pick one. And the first thing you'll might, you might notice is the red border here. That is a bleed border so that when you print your cards, your images don't go over where the card printing company will cut. To turn this off, it's easy. You go under the Options menu, Format Canvas, and here's your card guide right here. Unclick it, so it, it just shows you where you're supposed to place your images. Another thing you may notice, if you try to resize a business card by clicking and dragging the canvas, you're going to get an error message that says you can't resize it because this is a fixed business card size. Now we made this so that if you're making a business card, you don't want to make it too short or too long to put into the template that Vistaprint likes. So I've bas we've basically forced you into this size. If you want to change the size because you want to make a page header, for example, simply go up here to this button, business card, and uncheck it. Now the software thinks this is just a regular template and you're able to shrink it and do whatever you want. So if you have a specific size and you think, oh, this would be a great business card, go back to this button and check it, and it pops to the exact size, which for our purposes is 1260 by 735. Okay, that's that. If you click and drag anything and, and edit it, you'll notice that format button is gone. How do you get it back? Go under Options, Format Canvas, boom, there it is. Now, let's say we want to print our business card. We like what we've made. We want to print our business card, so we'll format the canvas and we'll hit print. This is telling you to save your image as a JPEG, so let's save it as a JPEG. Saving it to my desktop. Same for Windows, exactly the same. Then the website will launch into this uh, Vistaprint Upload Your Design Portal. Your image has been placed onto your desktop as a JPEG, okay? So there it is. That you can take anywhere you want. You can print it yourself. You can take it to another print shop. You don't necessarily have to use Vistaprint. The software has been integrated with Vistaprint so that when you upload your image, it fits perfectly. It fits perfectly into the area it's supposed to fit. And you'll notice this dotted line here. This is the same dotted line that Vistaprint uses to chop off the cards when they cut it. So this bleed here is what you want. Okay, so make sure when you make a card, you keep everything inside the border of the red. And if the border bothers you, again, go under Format Canvas, click and choose the guard, the guide. Same with these grid lines. This is something new. If you're used to using the Logo Creator 6.0, these grid lines here, let me delete this background to show you it better. These grid lines might get in your way. Uh, we've included the grid lines so that you can line up your text. So here's the right edge of the text, and let's say you want to put your, your card image right smack there so it's, it's all lined up nicely. If you don't like the grid, again, go under Options, Format Canvas, and there's a new command here, a new button. It's the grid layout. Click it off. And there's, no more, there's no more grid lines. Okay? Easy. Now, in printing your card with Vistaprint, you can also do the back of the card too, simply by going to the card and creating another car, another image, whatever the back image you want. You can edit the text and say whatever you want. You can drag things from the menus. Let's just say that is the back of my card. So this time I simply save it as a JPEG to my desktop. It's now been saved to my desktop. I go back to the Vistaprint portal and now I choose the back of the card. There you go. There's the back of my card. Okay, another trick I want to show you. Some of you obviously don't live in the United States. So this version of the software only links currently to Vistaprint 
in the US. But that's okay, no problem. While you're in the Vistaprint shop, Vistaprint actually is worldwide. They're all over the place. They're in Australia, they're in Africa, they're in Asia. All you need to do is go up to, to this page, go under the Vistaprint.com, and instead of .com, change .com to something like co.uk. And since they're in the UK as well, hit return. And now you're in the UK store, which when you order your cards, you can print them with the pound or other other currency that's closer to you. Okay, so just go ahead and type in the extension of your country and see if Vistaprint is located in your market. Another thing you might want to do is some of you have already asked me how you can print on your own printer. Lots of you have Avery labels. Now I've looked up a few options for this. Avery has a, an excellent site that allows you to upload your design and print with your own Avery cardstock. This is for Mac and Windows computers. So what you need to do is if you have an Avery label box, if you bought it at Office Max or Office Depot or ordered them online from Avery or wherever, visit this website and follow the directions and find the business card button. Click it. And here is where you're going to have to try and figure out what card label you have. So here's all the numbers. You have to look on the box. Okay, I mean, that's there's a, a million of them, which is another reason I didn't want to mess with this. <laughs> but if you have the numbers and you know it, this is really easy to watch. So let's just say I want, this is my card label stock. This is what I want. Boom. Now they present you with a whole bunch of business card templates. Of course, you're welcome to use these. They're not uh, a thousand percent terrific, but they're not bad. I like the blank card. Once your card loads, blank screen. Go to this button here on the left. Import the images from my computer. Find your exported card. Boom. There it is. It's going to look small, so drag it up here. Make it big. Fill the whole screen. It should fit with the bleeds and everything. And you'll notice here is your card. And then all I have to do is you can preview it and print it. Here's my card, don't touch it, just hit print. You can print the front, you can print back sheets as well. You can print front, front and back. So let's just print the front and we'll hit the print button. It saves it for now as a PDF, then you take the PDF and you print it with your cardstock. Boom, there you go. And it prints on your computer. I just have to go to the print button here on my Mac. Windows, same thing, and print it. Easy. So look below for the URL to this page, and I will also email it and keep it in my FAQ pages. Okay, so there's the business card creator. Have fun with it, and if you have any questions, give me a shout.